Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and a very happy Comic-Con week to you all. We're certainly going to start things off in the correct fashion with an early look at an upcoming San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive, which comes courtesy of my friends over at Mattel. And this is straight from the upcoming Master of the Universe Revolution TV show, which will be on Netflix, coming soon. But this is an early tease, a little look at the figure, which... You may have seen at the end of Masters of the Universe Revelations, right? Pretty cool Hordax symbol. Large wings adorn the box. And if you haven't guessed it by now, the exclusive figure will be none other than Motherboard. Right? That epic last two minutes of the first season of the show. Now, in true Mattel fashion, because those guys over there at Mattel Creations are nuts with the packaging, which is equally as awesome, you get a good artistic look at... Screech, perhaps, right? Mattel Creations, Master Universe right there on the box. Gorgeous artwork in true Masters of the Universe fashion, right? They're always doing very eye-catching artwork, and this box is no exception, right? You got the big, huge wings on either side, which look great. Lovely coloring. Really just wraps around, really creates this as a very cool exclusive. And of course, like I said, you get a nice look at the big, winged... Perhaps it's Screech, right? Sort of deal right there on the front. But the best part is it's got magnets on the doors, and the doors will swing open to reveal none other than Motherboard. That's some awesome packaging right there, if I tells you what. Now, to get all up close, right? She looks pretty darn cool. Can't wait to take this out of the packaging and show her off proper. But she's rather large we'll just say that we'll be talking about that in just a few she's got a nice little stand with her masses of the universe revolution the box itself you might have to keep this one it makes for an excellent display so you can pop her out she is in a tray so this will be more for those that maybe you don't want to take her out maybe you just want her just as she is for display purposes but for those that want to yank her out of the packaging you're gonna to have to clip off some twisty rubber band ties she does come with a baggie that has her accessories in it so you will have to open all that there's tape galore be very careful with the tape on the cape i wish they would stop doing it but inside very cool artwork that opens up from snake mountain and you get to see the rest of eternia and all the masses of the universe, universe, right? And I really like that the circuitry board right here kind of shows the Hordax symbol. So more on that in just a few because we got a lot to talk about right here. So here she is all out of the packaging. And she looks awesome. This is a large figure. When I got this and I initially opened up, I'm like, oh, wow, this is pretty cool. Anyways, she does come with a pair of extra hands. She's Painted very well, sculpted beautifully, all the hands look great, really nice colors as you'll soon see. Very much in that 80s sort of tone, right? She does come with a flight stand, quote unquote, I wouldn't say it gets her really flying, but it certainly gets her a standing and standing in place it does. Now, with the actual circuitry board right here, I love, again, you can see the little Hordak symbol, all the little computer chips and whatnot. It's very cool. It's kind of Batman Beyond-ish, right, at the same time. But you take the two pieces, and you're going to marry them just like this. You can take it out if you want. It's not permanently in there, but it looks great. And it's very much the perfect base stand for a character called Motherboard, right? It looks awesome. So, with the actual figure itself, just to kind of go over some details for you, this will be available at San Diego Comic-Con. It will be at the Mattel booth. And it will be on Mattel Creations later on San Diego Comic-Con week. So I'll have more details on that. Motherboard, which again, the colors are awesome. She will stand at 12 inches tall. So she is indeed the largest Motu Revolution Revelations figure. She will feature 30 points of articulation, which can't wait to show you the wings. They're pretty dang epic. And, well, she's got a 24-inch wingspan once you get the wings are going. So it's very cool. It's a rather large figure, but it fits, right? It's so cool. Those last two minutes. Was, I recently rewatched the show. The last two minutes when she pops up, I'm like, cool. I'm looking forward to season two after that. Because season one was, it was okay, right? It was fine for what it was. The wings open up just like so. 
Beautiful colors every which way. It kind of looks like stained glass, right? Very cool. Lots of articulation in the wings to kind of get it going to really recreate that scene. And that's one aspect I really enjoy about this figure is that it's very screen accurate. It's exactly what you see on the show. You can get the wings going up, down, left, right, every which way. Those have articulation right there in the little segments. So you can put them kind of down, up. You can choose your own adventure with Motherboard, right? And it's the same on both sides. But again, it's just a very cool, very interesting figure. Very devious, evil-looking figure, too, at the same time. While also being very beautiful, right? So they nailed the color scheme on all this. The sculpt is superb, And she does have cloth goods. It's a heavy cloth goods there's no cheapiness here i can tell you that it's not no taffeta it's stitched nicely it's got a little pattern on it and then underneath are all these really cool old school drapery computer port terminal things it's epic those are cool they just kind of fall to the ground it's kind of like part of her cape so i definitely dig that very well done there's no bendy wire in the cape just an fyi but it flows naturally, it looks good, it drapes really nicely, the colors are really cool, it adds to that really weird element that is motherboard, right? One of the best aspects of this figure though, is that the wings and that cape part are removable, and it's really easy. So you just kind of slip the figure out of that big crest, and it pegs into her back, this kind of pinches around her neck, won't do any damage, nothing like that. But at least for my sake, I can show this off a little bit better. But you see how the draperies work, how the stitching, how the cloth goods, how the wings work. Everything attaches pretty dang solid. The colors, again, I'm really liking that. It's very psychedelic, but very cool at the same time. I will tell you this. When I initially got the figure, when I pulled the figure out, some of the wing pieces came loose. And I think it's because in transport, it's knocking all around. So just make sure these winged pieces are secure. If you pull on them eventually, they will come unported, but just make sure they're nice and snug. You kind of hear a little click when you do it, and once they're in, they're in. So just keep that in mind. Overall, very cool accessory, kind of, sort of, to the figure, which looks pretty good, although she doesn't quite look the same once you remove all that epic wingage, right? I really like that, one, she's pinless. She's got the little port on the back. But two, the sculpt and the design of the figure work. She is a cybernetic cyborg robot doll. And it's very cool looking because they've perfectly encapsulated what you see on the show. Her really cool fingernails, her hands are very malleable. She's got the paint on the underside right there. She's almost glowing with these more techno-organica sort of colors, right? You expect some techno to start busting out here anytime soon. She's got some good articulation in the head, not so much going back, not so much going down, but you do get enough going left and right. On the upper diaphragm, you do get a lot of momentum out of that. Not so much an ab crunch, but she will rock left and right. You get a lot of articulation in the arms. The arms will go all the way up. There's nothing at the bicep. She's got single jointed elbows, but they will spin at the elbow. And then you have the wrists, which will rock to and fro. So plenty of articulation there. The hands are easy to swap. Again, the hands are very malleable. You're not going to break off the claws, nothing like that. The legs, I would say go very easy. Just kind of learn how the articulation goes. Don't just force anything. Nothing I had to heat up. The knees, single jointed as well. They will spin at the knee. Once you start rocking it to and fro, the ballpoint might actually kind of hit into the knee. It's nothing you have to worry about, but just something to be careful of when you're initially working with the figure. She does have foot articulation. They'll go up and down, left and right. They'll swivel. I would say if any part on the figure needed to be heated up, go easy with the feet at first. Everything else is fine. The paint is great. Everything is filled in. All the designs, she looks great. I think they really nailed the look as far as the cartoon brought to life for the upcoming show. But the real aspect of this when it really comes to life is when you got all the wings extended and she looks exactly how she does at again the last two minutes of the first season of the netflix motu show again the stained glass aspect of the wings really make her pop she's very beautiful but sinister looking at the same time very dangerous looking and it's 
very evident in this skull. It's a lot of fun. You can hear the excitement in my voice. It's very much a conversation piece when you open up this box. You'll see it and you go, okay, that's pretty big. And like I said, when you want to display and reenact those last two minutes of Skeletor's life, basically, who knows? Well, yeah, you have Trapjaw, you have Triclops. They're every bit working with old motherboard right here, the Viceroy, you could kind of say, of the upcoming Hordak. Looks pretty good, honestly. And just to show you the scalature, she is 12 inches tall. She towers over all the figures for Masters of the Universe Revelation, everything within the Masterverse that has come out thus far, everything if you have Masters of the Universe classics, right? She will be a large figure. So I could see her being very appealing for everyone that collects Masters of the Universe. Now, one aspect I would have loved to have seen them add is right there at the top of her head at the helmet, a clear plastic insert featuring the Hordak symbol. I think that would have been kind of cool. Just a little ports. They really could have done that well. Mattel would have nailed that. But that's an aspect I really think is kind of missing. Also, instead of open hands, I would have loved to have seen extended fingernails, much like when she attacks Skeletor, pumping in that nanovirus that is seen on the show. That would have been kind of cool. So just little nitpicks here and there, if anything, that I would have loved to have seen as additions. But as the figure itself, yeah, they absolutely nailed it. And like I said, when it comes to He-Man, She-Ra, or any of the Masterverse figures, Revelation, Revolution, or otherwise, yeah, she's going to go quite well. This will definitely be a standout on your Motu shelf. And for those of you out there that collect Origins only or the original classic series, I would say that she kind of sort of goes. It's a completely different art style, but it's really not too far of a stretch to say, yeah, it could fit in with Origins if you really wanted her to. But I got to tell you this, you can't get rid of the box, unfortunately, right? I know, that's one aspect. Space is limited these days but you're gonna need the box because you can place Motherboard right back in there with the stand and have her just be a beautiful display. So I like the integration of packaging and figure once you've opened her up, if you choose to do that, but she looks great. Get her hooked onto the stand, feet in the pegs, wings all draped to her sides. She looks awesome. It's gonna be a great addition to your Masters of the Universe display and the fact that you got the big magnetic doors that can close up easy peasy so if you don't want them open you can kind of sort of have it as the mere minutes before the end of the tv show when she transforms and turns into the female cyborg robot motherboard out of the screech statue it's pretty darn epic if you ask me so that will wrap it up for my early look at the upcoming mattel san diego comic-con 2023 exclusive straight from the upcoming Masters of the Universe Revolution show, Motherboard. And I gotta say, yeah, in true Mattel fashion, whenever they do San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, from the packaging to the figures they offer, they usually nail it. You can tell everyone over there is having a lot of fun creating these. This is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive through and through in the vein of how Mattel usually does things. A lot of times, I'll say with Comic-Con exclusives, you know, it's... It's not too detrimental to your collection if you don't get it. This one might be the exception. She's a true standout piece. She's something very different. She's a large figure. She's a very cool presence on your shelf. And the coloring and everything about her is just really cool. They did a great job. Now, a couple nitpicks of side, of course. But overall, it's a pretty stellar piece. Again, you can pick her up at San Diego Comic-Con at the Mattel booth all throughout the show, and eventually she should be available on the Mattel Creations website. Price and everything else coming soon. They didn't let me know ahead of time with the video, so that'll be down in the description below as well. So, if you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours, comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Motu Revolution. So, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, just as a heads up, there are signed Kevin Smith posters available in 200 randomly assigned motherboards at Comic-Con. So, hopefully you're one of the lucky winners. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. 